I am Sundar Jagannath, Professor of Medicine at Mount Sinai Medical Center, New York City. I am really excited to go over my poster that was presented in the ASCO. This year it was a virtual meeting as we could not congregate in Chicago as we do every year. So what is my poster about? This was about karma real world study. So what is a karma real world study? First of all, there was a karma phase two trial on an anti-BCMA CAR T cell therapy called ID cell in heavily pretreated relapsed refractory multiple myeloma that was presented in this ASCO by Dr. Munshi. And this was a very exciting uh, result that was presented. It showed that the ID cell CAR T cells that were directed against BCMA expressed on the myeloma cells were able to wipe out the myeloma and put patients into uh, complete remission, even though the patient had already failed all available uh, treatment options for them. So at this time, there are many treatment options are coming uh, to fruition. And these are typically tried in patients who have already exhausted the currently available treatment. So the way the patients go on the clinical trial, the patient should have failed immunomodulatory molecules that includes thalidomide, revlimid, or pomalidomide. They should have already exhausted proteasome inhibitor, which is, you know, Velcade, Ninlaro or Ixazomib, and Carfilzomib or Kyprolis. So they should have been exposed to it. And the patient should have already received a monoclonal antibody called daratumumab. And of course, they could have gone through stem cell transplantation if they were younger and they were eligible. So the patient should have gone through this entire treatment modality and they should be progressing on the last line of treatment. So under those circumstances, what do we do for these patients? So first of all, in order to understand what these new drugs are really offering the patient, we need to know in real world at this moment, what are we offering these patients and what are their outcome? So that is what is the gist of this real world karma uh, trial. So what we, what we did was we collected data from major institutions as well as uh, from uh, what we call as a connect mm trial as well as some registries um, research databases so we pulled all these data globally okay and then we sorted these patients out to make sure these patients have relapsed refractory myeloma yeah. that they have already been exposed to proteasome inhibitor immunomodulatory molecule and to daratumumab and the disease is progressing and then once we find those patients, then we need to make sure that the doctors and the patient were still receiving additional treatment once their cancer came back, even though they have failed all these treatments. And what was their outcome in the real world? So that patient population was compared with this new treatment in a karma uh, uh, CAR T cell uh, therapy and ID cell therapy. So that's what we wanted to do here. Okay. So what happened is we collected data from 1,949 real world patients, out of which, you know, 1,171 patients had already been exposed to the three agents and they were progressing on their last line of therapy. So they have failed IMIT, they have failed proteasome inhibitor, they have failed daratumumab, and the cancer was progressing. So we identified 1,171 patients and out of which only 521 28 patients actually receive additional treatment so we picked those 528 patients and then we found out are these patients will meet the eligibility criteria to receive CAR T cell therapy you know and then how many patients were there so it dwindled down to about 128 patients from 1900 patients we were able to identify 128 patients who would have fulfilled the criteria to be on the um, 190 patients would have been, uh, you know, eligible to go on the CAR T cell therapy. And we matched them against the 128 patients who actually received the CAR T cell therapy 
and the results were reported. So now what did we find? So we had to use sophisticated statistical analysis because in the real world, these were the patient and on the clinical trial, they met the eligibility criteria. These were the patient. We have to balance them. We have to balance them for the treatment they have received so far, they are for their age, for their sex, for their disease characteristics. So we match them using sophisticated, you know, statistical method. Once we match them, then we were able to compare and understand what did the CAR T cell really offer myeloma patients who had already failed these treatments. We found to our surprise that these patients, you know, who received additional treatment, but they got the same agents recycled again, you know, a different combination of the same drug to which they have been already exposed, then the outcomes were not that great. But when they received CAR T cell, they had dramatic responses a lot of patients went into complete remission. The cancer completely disappeared. Most of the patients responded to CAR T cell. There was improvement in their control of the disease for a longer period of time, and there was improvement in the overall survival. So this is very important. It is important for the patients to understand. So now the patient can truly understand, my God, these CAR T cell therapy, bispecific antibody trial, et cetera, they really add value to them. It really improves their life expectancy. And also you can understand, you know, what is the toxicity side effects and how much benefit they are getting for the risk they are exposed. So for the patient, this clearly opens their eyes that this CAR T cell therapy, which was presented, KARMA trial that was presented, was really meaningful to them. And they should be excited that this trial is becoming available to them in the near future. At the same time, it also adds value to the regulatory agencies like FDA and EMEA in Europe. They wanted to know what is there available for this patient? How long these patients live? What do they respond if they get the same treatment again? Now the regulatory agents can understand, wow, once you give CAR T cell therapy, most of the patients respond to treatment. In many of them, the cancer completely disappears and it improves not only duration of control of the cancer, but it really shows improvement in the life expectancy of the patient because that is the FDA man mandate. They have to show that there is you know, meaningful improvement in the quality and quantity of life expectancy of the myeloma patient. So that is why this particular poster that I presented is very, very valuable to the patient to understand their meaning, what the CAR T cell really means to them in terms of improving their life expectancy. And for the regulatory agent, FDA and EMEA, that the ID cell therapy that was administered to these heavily treated patients, you know, is really a good treatment options for the patients. Thank you.